Welcome to my YouTube channel, Unboxing Biology. We will start with the chapter, Genetics. Genetics is a branch of biology that deals with the study of the genes, genetic variation, and the heredity. Fine. We will study all the three uh, topics separately. What is these terms? We will study that. Now, the genetic word came from the Greek word geno, which means to give birth. Okay. Now, the word genetics was first suggested by a British scientist named William Bateson for the study of the science of variation and the heredity or inheritance you can say now we will study all the three terms separately at first genes genes is defined as the basic physical and functional unit of inheritance so it is basically it is a basic unit fine in 1909 wilhelm johansen coined the term gene. Okay, so this gene is made up of DNA, made up, of, made up of DNA. The gene varies from 100 to a million base pairs. Okay, now there are some genes which are instructed to make molecules known as proteins, whereas some do not code for proteins. Then, genetic variation. Variation is defined as the degree by which the parents differ from, sorry, uh, degree by which the progeny differs from its parents. Okay. So the degree by which the progeny differs from its parents is defined as variation. Third is heredity. Heredity is defined as the transfer of characters or traits from parental generation to the offsprings. Fine. From Parents, some characters or traits are transferred to the offspring known as heredity. Fine. Now, this process can be, can occur in both the cases. That is, both type of reproduction shows heredity that is asexual and the sexual. Fine. Now, we will study the types of genetics. Uh, this is S, types of genetics. So there are three types of genetics. First one is classical. Second one is molecular molecular and third one is evolutionary so we don't have to study all the three types of genetics mainly we are concerned with the first one that is the classical type but we will uh, study the definitions of the all three so the classical genetics is generally concerned with the Mendel's principle, sex determination, sex linkage, and the cytogenetics. Okay, so Mendel principle, sex determination, sex linkage, and the cytogenetics. The molecular one is concerned with the study of the genetic material, its structure, its uh, replication, its translation or expression, you can say, or the um, evolution, uh, revolution emanating by the recombinant DNA technologies discovery, that is the RDT, also is a study under this molecular genetics. 
Now, the evolutionary one is the study of the population genetics. Population genetics means there are some evolutionary changes, oh, sorry, genetics. There are some evolutionary changes which occur in the gene frequencies in a population, that is population genetics. So it's a study is done under this evolutionary one, fine. But we are only concerned with the classical type. So with the classical one, we will start classical genetics okay so before knowing classical genetics we must know about mendel who was he what he did for genetics why he is known so much so there was an austrian monk named Grigor Johann Mendel. Okay. So uh, this was a, his birth year from 1882 to 1884. He was an Austrian monk and he did experiments on plant hybridization and he published his paper name experiments experiments on plant hybridization so this was his paper name and he published this paper in a journal named the proceedings of the brun society of the natural history so Again, uh, he published his work, but the scientist didn't accept it. it this uh, experiment was done in the year 1865. Okay, so the scientist uh, do not uh, accepted his experiments. Why? Because they thought that being a monk, he is not so much uh, good to do that experiment. He was not uh, capable of doing such experiments. So they thought that, um, no, we should not accept this. So they highly ignored the fact that he did experiments. And, but in 1900, in the year 1900, there were three scientists named Hugo de Vries from Holland, Karl Korenz, from Germany and Eric Schomack of Austria. Okay, these three scientists rediscovered Mendel's work. Fine. So, what Mendel was trying to tell was actually that there are some discrete units. Okay. So there are some discrete D -I -S, discrete units which gets inherited from the parental generation parents to the offsprings. So there are some discrete units which are getting inherited from the parents to the offsprings and remaining the same, showing the same property in the offspring also. He named these, those discrete units as factors. And now we know these factors as genes. So let us revise again. So genetics is a branch of science or biology that deals with the study of the genes, variation and heredity. The genetic term was came, came from geno, which means to give birth, 
the genetic term was first used by William Bateson. Now the three terms, genes, variation and heredity. Genes is defined as the basic physical and functional unit of inheritance. Okay. In 1909, Wilhelm Johansson coined the term genes. Genes are made up of DNA. The variation of genes is from 100 to a million base pairs. It is, there are some genes which code for proteins, where are some which do not, okay? Now, the variation is defined as the degree of difference or the degree by which the progeny differs from their parents. Fine. Now the heredity is defined as the transfer of the characters or traits from the parents to the offspring it is known as heredity. It is shown by both type of reproduction process that is asexual as well as the sexual one. There are three types of genetics, classical, molecular and evolutionary. Classicals deals with the study of the Mendel's principle, sex determination, sex linkage and cy cytogenetics. Whereas the molecular one is the study of the genetic material, its structure, replication, and expression, whereas the discoveries of the recombinant DNA technologies. Evolutionary genetics is the study of the population genetics. Now, the classical genetics before knowing this, we should know about the uh, Mendel. He was, um, he was an Austrian monk. Uh, name his full name is Gregor Johann Mendel and the birth is from 1822 to 1884. In the year 1865, he did uh, he published a paper named Experiments on the Plant Hybridization. But scientists do not accept it or highly ignored the publishment done by the Mendel as being a monk. They, they were thinking that as being a monk, he is not so much literate to do such work. So he, they ignored. But in the year 1900, there were three scientists, Hugo de Vries, Carl Correns, and Eric Schirmack, they rediscovered Mendel's work. So basically, Mendel tried to said, say that uh, there are some discrete units which gets inherited from the parental generation to the offsprings. He named those discrete unit as factors. Now we know these factors as genes. So in the next video, I will tell you about the Mendel, Mendel's experiment, what he took for his experimental work and why he took that for his experiment. Okay, advantages, why he took that. Thank you so much.